So what does an infrared panel look like when it's installed? How much does it cost to run? How visually does it look uh, on the ceiling? These are some questions people ask um, and genuine questions when they are looking at infrared. This is a, a bedroom in a house and I just want to answer those questions over this short video. Um, you can see behind me the panel is located in the ceiling. So first thing is visually that it's not a flat shiny surface. Uh, it's quite neat and tidy. So first of all there will be a panel uh, fitted in each room and the size is determined by the ceiling height, the floor area, number of exterior walls. The panel is only 20 mil thick. You can see there how slim it is. It's one sheet of stainless steel and there is a, a powder coated finish on the heater um, and it's baked in an oven. So visually it's a flat, it's a flat surface and matte in color. It's not a flat shiny surface that you would get on a, on a car, for example. But the reason I'm discussing is because there is variance of different type of panels on the market. Um, there's a H-shaped bracket at the back of the heater that's fitted onto the ceiling and then the heater is slotted in onto the heater. This is nice as it sits around in the center. Well, it sits in the center and there's some nice LED spots around the heater. Um, so that's the panel. This panel itself is a a uh, 750 watt infrared panel and this is designed to heat a room of this size which is around 10 to 12 square meters this this is a cottage environment um this was constructed well revamped 2010 so the level of insulation on a scale of one to ten would probably be a five or a six um we'll look at the energy costs now in a minute but when you come into the room your eye line is not drawn to the wall uh, sorry, your eye line is drawn to the wall and not to the ceiling. So people ask, why do you put the panel on the, on, on the ceiling versus the wall? Well, if you were to put this type of a panel on the wall, visually you would see it into when you come into the room because it, it catches your eye. Whereas when it's on the ceiling, it's up out of the way um, and you don't actually see it. Um, and the fact that it's out of the way means you're freeing up wall space as well. So there's some advantages giving you uh, more information and visually how the panel looks installed. So you can also see there's no wires visible, there's no fixings, there's no screws, anything like that. So everything is hidden at the back of the heater. So what we do is there's a cable comes out of the heater and then it's ran back around to this control pad. Now, this is a tablet which... The reason I've put it here is because I want to show you energy consumption. But you have one of these in each room. This is called IR Sun Regulator. What does this do differently than using a standard thermostat to control the infrared panel? Well, what it does is it regulates. So it's like a tap turning on and off. And what it's doing is it's controlling the heat from the panel. So depending on outdoor temperature, depending on set temperature, will determine how hard the panel will need to work. You can see currently that the heater is turned off because it's currently reading 17.5 degrees in the room with the set temperature being 17 degrees. So the panel is turned off. But you'll see here a percentage symbol on the bottom of the screen uh, on the control pad. And that shows me how hard the panel is working at that time. And we can see that now the panel is not working at all. But if I was to increase the current room temperature up to 18 degrees, the panel now is working 24% on average in output. So if this is a one kilowatt heater, for example, at this moment in time, it will average 240 watts or a quarter of a unit of electricity, which means that if it runs at that percentage for the next hour, it will use maybe um, seven, eight cent of electricity. So th this is the important thing. The panel is not blasting heat, turning off, blasting heat, turning off, creating this kind of a scenario. It's stabilizing the heat. The advantage for the heater is that the heater is not getting hot, cold, hot, cold, and it actually extends the lifespan of the heater because the panel is not working 100% of its output all the time. So we would suggest set up the schedule day one and let and let the heater walk away. Don't turn off the turn on and off the heating sporadically because all that energy you think you've saved by having the heater off, you're going to use all that energy to get the temperature back up in the room again. So this is currently running at 24% and I, I can actually start to feel a trickling of heat coming from the panel here behind me. What else does this controller do? Well, that that 
it's a schedule, a timer. So I can go in and I can set up a schedule. It's quite easy to use. You can copy and paste. You can create a schedule for one day and then copy easily that schedule to the other days of the week. If you find Saturdays and Sundays, you room, use the room differently because you, maybe you're not in work, you can set it up uh, a different schedule on Saturday and Sunday. So this will uh, give you all what you need to control your infrared heating. The, the big feature is, and let me uh, try and open this quickly uh, above uh, my tablet. I'll just, uh, I'll just access it. Now, if we go into the app, so every, every user has an app that they download. Um, I've just put it on my tablet here just to show you. But if, if I go in, well, this is the bedroom here in the top, right? And it's currently working 24% which is also, uh, this is this controller here, which is working 24%. So if I go into the bedroom here, um, I can see what's happening here uh, in this room. Um, this is pretty basic that you can actually control it using an app. In today's world, you know, you can control your heating using an app. Uh, this is a free app. But what happens is that I would have put in what I'm paying for my power. So I can say I'm paying 27 cent per kilowatt unit. Um, it's what, January 2025. But what this does is then it records energy consumption and tells me how much it's costing me to heat each room in my house. So if I go into uh, today so far, I've spent 19 cent worth of electricity to heat this room in my house. Yesterday, I used uh, 54 cent of electricity. The day before, I used 45 cent. But then the day before, I used 80 cent because we've had that cold snap uh, January 2024 here in Ireland. So the energy cost has gone up. But that would have been a lot higher if I didn't have the set temperature of 17 degrees in the room because then when the temperature dropped outside, the, 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 the infrared panel was more equipped to deal with that sudden temperature drop outside. Um, so you have one of these in each room. You have the app as well, and it'll tell you how much energy you're using. You can set up a schedule, you can monitor it. Now, there's many other advantages using our system, but this gives you facts, gives you information. So clients that we would have taken off oil, clients that we would have taken off gas are seeing similar energy costs to what they would have spent by uh, moving when before they moved away from oil and gas. The other thing is there's no maintenance. It's hassle-free heating. This lasts for 35 years. It has a 15-year warranty and the gear and the, the system is made in Europe. So the internal wiring is a nickel wire coated in Teflon. And what that does is that that protects the wire from corroding over time. And that's why it lasts for 35 years. Um, so overall, an excellent product. This is a detailed video and I wanted to give some time today to explain this controller, what it does, how it regulates, and to give you more information about the panel. And it's lovely now because I can feel that heat here in, the, in, in, in our bedroom here. So for more information, do check out our website, infraredheat.ie. And if you're building, renovating, um, and, and if you're building, renovating, do get in touch. We'll put together a spec for you and we can give you an idea um, for what's happening um, with our product. I'm happy to discuss any questions you may have. Thanks for watching.